Hi, thank you so much for watching our channel and today we're going to speak about a very interesting series of Ketas which is called Sweden no Hijo. Uh, Sweden no Hijo was very popular during the decades of 60s and 70s uh, from the students of Ogawa Sensei. Uh, it was really really well executed and they actually mastered the development of this uh, kata. The Suirin no Heiho means uh, comes from Sui, Mitsu comes from water, Rin comes from Rin, so and Heiho means from the soldier method. So it's like the techniques of, or, or the methods uh, of the Ring of Water. This Suirin no Heiho is also composed by three main series, which is called Furi Harai, Furi Gaesh, and Furi Bayash. Today we are going to speak about Furi Harai. Furi Harai can be translated as a, a shake off. This shake off is actually a metaphor of uh, try to shake a bush in order to understand if some snakes are coming out from it. So it's a metaphor because it's trying to express the idea to shake off the will or the reaction of their opponent. It's a, it's a way to try to understand if something is hidden and to provoke a reaction from your opponent. This, uh, this idea of uh, shaking off the bushes to see if some snake is coming out comes from two main movements which are really, really emphasized in at least two forms of Furiharai. Furiharai is uh, constituted by five movements. Uh, two of them actually have uh, a strong uh, emphasis on the idea of shaking uh, the, the mind of our opponent. This shaking is actually composed by two main movements. The first movement is uh, the upper body, which is called Haneburi. The Haneburi means comes from Hane, which is wing, and Buri, which is shake. So Haneburi is expressed in the upper part of our body in this opening. It's like an incitation to the opponent to provoke, to provoke him. So this is what our upper body is all about. Also, we have the uh, lower part of our body, which actually try to confuse, try to uh, make this uh, vibration, but instead of a bush, in the mind of our opponent. So the movement is called the uh, Zui Zen, which comes from Zui, with water, um, and Zen, uh, like to go through, like to walk over. So Zui Zen, try to make really small steps, trying to confuse our opponent. Also, Sensei Motoshima call it Setsu Zen. Uh, setsu comes from snow, so it's also like to walk through, to uh, walk over um, snow. So both terms, Zui Zen and Setsu Zen, actually give you the idea that you have to walk in a very uh, slippery surface. So you are trying actually to make it really, really small and try to make it fast and stable. Uh, this movement, even when it's not done under these surfaces, is actually try to confuse the opponent because if you are not on water or uh, snow, you are actually uh, uh, playing with the time and the space between your opponent and you. So using these two movements, okay, Hanebori and Setsu Sen, Twisen, you are actually uh, shaking your opponent's will. 